Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually install OpenIB. As you can see from a lot of my past videos, this is usually the tool that I use to install pretty much every single mod that I have. So if you guys aren't kind of new to modding, this video is for you. And this should work for, um, right now it's December 28th, so pretty much 2021, right? So for this upcoming year, this should work. I'll link this page on the in the description of my video um, and let's get straight to it and if you guys like this type of videos just uh, please consider subscribing guys i do upload a lot of gta 5 mods and if this helps you out you know feel free to like it if it doesn't feel free to dislike it um, but hopefully this helps you guys out but with that said um go ahead and go on this link or feel free feel free to click on my link in the description or you can just go to openiv.com or open for but openiv.com is the page that we're at right now uh, well so once you're on this page guys you're gonna see this green button right here it'll say download now open iv 4.0 go ahead and click on that and then it should be downloading i'm just going to click on this little arrow you could open it up too but i like to uh, i like to click on here and then hit show in folder so i know exactly where it's at all right so once you open it up go ahead and open up the folder and then once you open up that file i think even if you just click on here you'll get this little window right here um, obviously we're just going to click our language so you choose between english or russian we're going to go with english and then give it a couple of seconds while it loads and then you're gonna get a user agreement right make sure you read all of this and then once you're done like how i am go ahead and click i accept the terms and of this agreement hit continue all right guys so what's once you get here this is pretty much asking you where do you want to install the application where do you want us to open iv so by default it'll pretty much give you this location it should be very similar i'm not going to modify this I'm just gonna leave this and I'm, and I'm actually gonna hit run open IV after installation just so I know it's done. So I have installed open IV to this computer. Uh, this is for if you wanna install it on a separate computer, which I do not. I wanna install it on this machine that I'm on right now. So I'll go ahead and make sure you hit this check mark. So I'll create desktop icon because I want a desktop icon. And then I'm gonna do run open IV after installation. And then this, you can just leave, this, leave it how it is guys. It's, I'm just gonna leave it and I would advise just leave it for you as well unless you want to put it somewhere else then feel free to put a different location but once you hit do that um, go ahead and hit continue and then hit yes So just telling you do you want to download 19.8 megabytes of data and then it should download pretty quickly depending on your internet speed we'll let that install and then like we had checked right it should open up automatically you should get this little window saying installation of openiv has been installed successfully hit close and then give it a few seconds there it is so here we go let's go back go back all right and then here is the window of OpenIV. So you got a couple options for different games that you can install this for. So you got Episodes in Liberty City, GTA 4, GTA 5, Max Payne 3, Red Dead Redemption 2. We're doing this for GTA 5, so make sure you click on Windows, right? Because we are on Windows, so make sure you go ahead and click on Windows. And then you're gonna get this little pop-up. This is asking you for the location of GTA 5. So like the actual path that the game is located. For me, I am using Steam, but it should be a pretty much similar process. Pretty much, I just use Steam because it's it's super easy to help me locate my game file. So if you are using Steam, this is one way to find it. Um, so go to your game, right? I'm GTA 5 right here. Go ahead, hit right click, and then go to properties. And if you hit, um, go to local files, and then it should be a browse button right here. Hit browse. And then it should give you the location of GTA 5. If you are not on Steam, guys, Go, make sure you locate your game. It should be very similar to this path. So if you are, if you don't feel like opening Steam, just follow this path on your computer. Except the D might be the C. I just have mine on a different hard drive, but it should be under Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common GTA 5, and you'll know you got the right location once you see this GTA 5 launcher, GTA 5 language, GTA 5. So this is the path that you want to lead it to. And I know it's the right one. Like I just said, it has my GTA 5 icon here, GTA 5 launcher, play GTA 5. So that's how you know you got the right one. And then uh, what I'm going to do here, go back to OpenIV. Since I know the location already, I'm going to hit browse. And then, so mine is already located there. But if I didn't know where it was located, at, go back to where you found your game, right? Let's say I didn't know and I just found it manually. Just click anywhere in this text box and it should highlight this whole path. Hit right click copy go back to open iv and then here right it's asking us for the game location if you click here and then just pretty much just paste it my mine, mine was mine is going to be the same so it uh like that 
and then I'm gonna uh, do that and then it should take you to the location that the game is at You're, you won't see all of this you should only see these couple folders so like I have installers menu stuff mods etc and select folder and then you should get a successful GTA 5.exe version whatever and then it says you should set it in green right under it it'll say open IV can work with this file and that's saying no you're good to go and then so pretty much what it's reading here is reading these files so GTA 5 GTA 5 so it's right it's saying it's good to go and then um, once I'm done with that hit continue and then just a little warning right don't forget to back up your original files hit continue again and that's pretty much it guys it's installed it, it located the game right so pretty much the point of this mod or the way you install this is pretty much installed into your computer once you install it into your computer you want to locate your game with this application right you want open iv to know where your game is at so it knows where to modify it so that's pretty much what we just did um so give it a few more seconds all right so boom i'm done it's installed it located my game and then this is the windows you can see if you've seen a couple of my uh, past videos you i'm sure you guys will recognize this this screen right this little window all right so but once i'm not really done yet so what i want to do now is install a couple things right so if you go to tools go to asi manager you want to make sure everything here is installed so let's say i don't and this, this install everything right this so this is pretty much what you're going to have right it's going to look all blue if you don't have it you just want to hit install and then it'll turn green hit install it'll turn green and then hit install it'll turn green hit close and then there we go so that pretty much allows you to install mods right all right another thing i want to do is create a mods folder so as you can see guys i have a mods folder right here but you might not have it sometimes it'll ask you it'll bring up a window like do you want to create a mods folder because let's say you go on a different file that's not your mods folder um, it'll ask you, oh, you're editing, you're editing outside of the mods folder. So do you want to create a mods folder or do you want to move it to a mods folder? Just hit yes, create a mods folder. Or another thing you could do is go to edit mode, right? So this is the edit mode. This is right now. I can't do anything. I can't edit anything unless I hit edit mode here. So once you do that, click yes. And then now I can edit anything. But let's say you want to create a mods folder. This is a little folder icon. This is pretty much why I create a lot of folders in this uh, open IV or open for whichever you prefer to call it. I call it open IV hit this folder and then you if you want to type in the mods we'll just type in mods and that's pretty much it right that's exactly it'll you will have a purple folder it actually won't even be yellow it'll be purple automatically as long as, long as open av uh, knows that or you know sees that you typed in the folder called mods it'll turn to purple so hit okay and i'd say nothing special it'll turn purple automatically and that's pretty much it guys but once you create this folder you want to make sure you copy and paste these two up the and the x64 into the mods folder the way that i did that is if i go back to my location of the game right this is the location of the game this is how i got this remember when i got this path and i copied it over and pasted it in open iv once you're here guys x64 and update right i hit so if you hit click on this one then hit control on the keyboard and click this one it'll highlight both of them what you want to do is right click copy go into that mods folder we just created and then right click and paste so i won't do that because i already have i already have it in here but i would do that that's how you have a mods folder and pretty much the purpose of this is so you don't edit the actual file so let's say you messed up a mod it crashes your game and you only create it inside the mods folder if you really want to guys you can just delete the mods folder it'll get rid of all the mods you installed and your game will run perfectly fine perfectly normal as if you didn't edit a single thing so that's pretty much the purpose of it um but yeah once you right paste it might take it might take some time guys it is a little large it, it took me maybe it takes maybe like 10 minutes for me 10 to 15 minutes because these two files are humongous um but that's pretty much it guys that's pretty much the basics right just memorize edit mode and make sure you do go to asi manager and install these three and then yeah, that's pretty much it guys and then again like i said the mods folder will include the x64 and update once you copy and paste it in here that is how i have this in here and let's say i want um let's go back let's say i want the let's say x6 so let's say i want x64j so as you can see you'll get this little red window it'll ask you this isn't in my mods folder so anything i edit i'm editing the actual game so if i mess up something i can mess up the game permanently until i redownload the whole game so let's say i want this if you hit this it'll copy this folder into the mods folder which will then allow me to pretty much modify 
the mods folder version of this folder of this folder does that make any sense i hope that made sense that way i'm not actually editing the game but i'm editing a copy of the game and in case i mess something up i can just delete the mods folder and it's, and it's like i've never touched this file this folder ever so so hopefully hopefully that helps guys so see now that i have this in the, in the I have this in the mods folder and I, I can edit it and if I mess up I just delete the mods folder and we're good to go then I'll just recreate the mods folder copy and paste my folders I think you could even do it with updating x64 just uh, click on it and it'll get the little red window but that's the way that I did it so and if you guys are an epic version epic games version I'm not too sure what the location of the game is but if you can't find it it shouldn't be too hard it might even be the same very similar location except it isn't in steam but probably be like an epic epic games um folder but you know you got the right one once you see everything very similar to this you'll see right the gt5 logo the launcher and play gt5 but hopefully that helps you guys out let me know if you guys have any questions at all and that's pretty much how you install open iv and then uh make sure you do open up uh install sorry not open up install scriptic 5 and scripted.net if you guys want to see a future video on that let me know because you do need scriptic 5 to inst for, for mods to actually work this is just kind of help you actually install the mod but yeah if you guys have having any questions at all let me know and i'll catch you guys in the next one all right take care